active. So this is Maya Cabrera. She's actually dropping in on the first wave of the day and Carlos Burley towed her in on the jet ski. This is a 60 foot day and on this wave she wipes out. When she wipes out, we'll see it again in slow-mo, she breaks her ankle and her life jacket is torn off of her. In training, she can hold her breath for four minutes and she is an Olympic quality athlete, professional big wave surfer, and they work in two person teams. So after she wipes out, it's very typical that Carlos is gonna then circle back around to pick her up. And normally she would just grab onto the sled. After this wave, she's held down and underwater for about two minutes before she surfaces again. So you'll see he actually hits her in the chest with the sled because normally she would just grab on to get out of the impact zone. She fails to affect a self-rescue and he has to get out of there. So she's held under for about another 40 seconds before he cycles back around to her. Now he's saying, grab my hand. She fails to do so. So now he's yelling at her, grab the tow rope, grab the tow rope, grab the tow rope. Right now, she's not breathing. She has respiratory impairment. She is drowning. And now she's unconscious, unresponsive on the left side of the screen. We all agree she's drowning, right? There is nothing near about this. She is unconscious, unresponsive, face down after having respiratory impairment in the ocean. It takes him about another 40 seconds to get back around to her. When is she going to stop drowning? Not when she gets on a boat, not when she gets in the back of an ambulance, not when she gets on dry land. She's gonna stop drowning when she gets oxygen to her brain. Her drowning process is gonna continue until it's interrupted by getting oxygen to the brain. So this is Maya. Carlos Burley, Carlos has just taken a CPR class and was told that all CPR is compression only now and you never have to give ventilations ever again. Nuno is a Portuguese lifeguard that was hired on by Red Bull as an extra and he actually saw this presentation two weeks prior uh, when we were in Portugal and gets into an argument kind of in the heat of the moment saying, no, we have to give breaths. No, it's compression only. Eventually, Nuno wins out, gives five breaths, and she sits up and starts breathing on her own. She tweeted this picture from the hospital about four hours later, six hours later off of oxygen. Here's her distal fibula fracture and literally walked out of the hospital with a smile the next day. We all agree she drowned and she had severe impairment when she was first pulled out of the water. But when she left the hospital, she survived with no morbidity. This would be a non-fatal drowning. It's not, there was nothing near about it any more than you have a near stroke or near heart attack or near GSW just because you survive the uh, incident.